Modern Bay Tribe, what's up? Travis here with the Modern Bay Company and my son Tate. Hello. Also with the Modern Bay Company, it's a family business. Tate's my oldest son, he actually just graduated fifth grade, is going into middle school. How are you feeling about middle school? Great. All right, in today's video, I know you guys probably didn't just want to talk about middle school the whole time, so we're going to talk about what? Transmissions. Transmissions and what kind of transmissions? Automatic transmissions. Yes. Yeah. Automatic transmissions in a Volkswagen Bay Window bus. Uh, as you guys know, that's all we do. We do Subaru conversions in Bay Window buses. It's totally our thing. Now, I'm gonna be totally upfront with you guys. This is the first automatic transmission we have done uh, for Bay Window Subaru conversion. And I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm also a little nervous because it's a new challenge. And so when I'm coming to you today, this is more just to share information, share things that I've learned. Um, and I'm gonna show you how we're doing this as we're mating it up and as we're uh, attempting to make this work. And um, what else? Anything else you should say in the intro here? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. I think we're, Maybe we're pretty Maybe some cool good. intro music? Modern Bay! Oh yeah, give me some. <laughs> first things first, we're gonna actually mate the transmission to the engine. So we'll turn this engine around and we'll show you how to actually put them together. There's a couple little tricks to it, but it's not rocket science. Um, once you guys see us do it, hopefully you will be able to do it as well. And I may have already said it, but uh, we're not experts. We're just uh, learning as we go and sharing that information with you. So if you have any tip, tips, tricks, or suggestions as you're watching the video, throw them in the comments. I'm sure our viewers will appreciate them and so do we, right? Yes. All right. Let's do it. So this is from German Transaxle. This right here, which you can see in B camera, is the torque converter. Uh, this is a brand new RV stall torque converter, heavy duty uh, version. It's got something holding it in place. Now, if you guys have a torque converter and it's off, um, you wanna make sure that you seat that fully and make sure it stays seated before you try to mount anything. You're gonna be kind of in nightmare mode if you <laughs> try to mount things together without this fully seated on the transmission. So. Uh, we're going to take that little guy off that's holding it, the little bar stock, and take that off while we're still holding it on the transmission, and then we're going to pull these two together and get them going. First things first, if we're looking at our engine, the backside we've got uh, from our other videos, uh, if you guys want to watch a video on how to mount this adapter plate, you'll see how we did that. We have one mega long stud, and then three just kind of shorter studs. Uh, use blue Loctite on those, those guys are in. This is all ready to go on this side. So watch that video if you have questions there. But the gist for this video is we have these four studs and they're gonna go into the four holes on the transmission. Uh, not right here, over here. So, there we go. How oh, close. Pretty darn. Oh, so right now we don't need to worry about bolting the torque converter to the flex plate. We're just worrying about getting them together once they're together, we'll be good. And one thing I almost forgot um, for the video here, you guys will very much need to do is remove this um, little piece of bar stock holding that on. So I'm gonna remove that engine and transition. So this has some movement to it, not a crazy amount, but it's got some movement to it and that's okay. So just a little bit, we just don't want it to fall off. So take, go ahead and put your thumb or how's it looking? Good, going right on. So now you're gonna find the studs don't always want to line directly up. That's okay. Uh, so oftentimes the longer stud is a little bit bent one direction or the other. So you'll need to kind of work it until it's gonna get on there. Let's see if I can bring this all the way to. I see daylight, I see studs on top. I see daylight on the studs on the bottom. Daylight meaning I see some threads that I can grab. Should I start spinning this one on the hook? I uh, know, it was a little too long to. Um, Generally, when you're mating an engine and transmission, especially if you don't have a ton of experience doing this, you do not want to use your nuts to, um, to, to pull this together. I have a, a decent amount of experience doing engines and transmissions, and I know that we're lined up, I know that we're looking just fine, and I'm going to be continuing to keep an eye on where my flex plate is and where my bolts for the flex plate are. And go ahead and get this guy made it. So um, it is perfectly fine to make the engine and transmission and the uh, torque converter will still spin freely. Uh, the engine will still spin if you turn it because we're going to end up about 3 16ths of an inch away 
uh, between the flex plate and the torque converter, and then we're going to land our bolts from the other side, which we'll show you here in a little bit. Well, if you're doing this and suddenly it seems like uh, things are really tight, stop. Something's probably binding. I know nothing's binding. We're still nice and free here. So that's why I'm continuing to roll on. If the clips are long enough. We have our bell housing uh, connected to our flex plate. Uh, pretty soon we're going to put the starter. Uh, we have our, our Modern Bay Company starter adapter for this guy. So if you're doing this, give us a shout. You can use this guy, which will allow you to use a high torque starter adapter. This is for sale on our website. You guys can check it out. Um, but that's not what this video is about. So we're going to keep rolling with actually torquing uh, the two down. So what we need to do for this, we have three nuts, uh, grade 10.9, uh, 11 mil, 11 millimeters long nuts. These are a little bit longer and I measured we can go longer. These are actually 16 because the um, depth of this flex plate, the thickness, there we go. The thickness of this flex plate, uh, we have plenty of room and plenty of threads for M8 by uh, 1.25 thread pitch by 16 millimeter long grade 10.9 bolts. And these are flanged head, just like the ones from the factory. Uh, and then we also put blue Loctite on those guys. So the way that we connect the flex plate to the torque converter, fairly simple. So word of the wise, you should still be able to very easily uh, turn your torque converter as well as turn your engine. We're good on ours, so we're going to turn our torque converter until at the very bottom, uh, we're going to need some video of this actually, Tate. So at the very bottom, there's a cutout in the flex plate that will allow you to get a wrench in there and your fingers in there and thread these in. So we're picking three of the six holes in the flex plate and uh, matching them up with the ones in the, the holes in the torque converter and bolting the two together. When you do this, hot tip, <laughs> when you do this, uh, do not just torque one all the way down, go to the next, go to the next. Grab a couple threads on one, turn things over to the next one, grab a couple threads, next one, and as you're going around, tighten them slowly to pull it together. Let's get started. We have our torque converter bolted to our flex plate. Last thing is we're gonna torque our, do the final torque of our bell housing, which is our whole transmission, to the adapter plate. I'm gonna go 35 foot pounds on those guys. Um, we're gonna put our starter on, um, 35 on those guys. I was like 25 to 35 is fine, but you're not gonna over torque it to 35. Um, just play it safe. And I think we'll be good to go. Wazow! All right, despite how quickly Tate may have popped up there, we're both pretty tired, aren't we? We're hungry, ready for some food, and really excited because the job of bolting these two guys together is done. Give me some right there, which means we get to take out our paint pen. So Tate, what I do when I paint pen something, it's our quality assurance. It means something has been torqued to spec. So what I do is I take it and I put a little mark on it. See those marks right there? Mm -hmm. And do the honors. Mark that bolt right there. Yep, just a little mark. You can stick it with this little tiny dab dip. Yep, and right there. And then you want to reach around and grab that one. And you want me to get the back, the back bottom one? Back bottom? That's right there. Can you reach it or no? There you go. All right, that works for me. Does it work for you? Yeah. Okay. All that said, anything else you want to tell people on the video as they're trying to do this? Sure, you get it right, because if you don't, then it could be a very big problem. That's very true. It's not rocket science, but it's very important. So uh, make sure things are still turning freely. Um, you know, once you get done, which we are, no binding, no weird sounds we don't want, no grinding. Um, I can't wait to get this guy in just the bus, bolted up and rolling. Uh, are you excited to see that? Yeah. I'm pretty excited to see it too. Uh, the build is coming down to it. We got about two weeks left, a little less than two weeks. And this guy's got to get in this bus and get running. So um, we'll keep you guys updated on how it's rolling. You'll probably see more videos come out. But for now, I hope this was helpful. I appreciate you guys tuning in. What do you think, Tate? Any, any, uh, 
Anything else we got? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Thank you.